they're keeping me here because they say I did something bad. There was a fight and somebody got killed. But I would have eventually died myself through all the beatings I was getting. I couldn't let it go on. It was me or him. I should never have been incarcerated here in the first place. I never committed any crime until they put me here. Now all I want to do is serve my sentence and I hope that I can eventually get parole and be with my wife and family. I'm holding on the best I can and just taking things a day at a time, riding out the storm. Is it wrong to ask for something when you have nothing? Jed Logan didn't think so. He was rock bottom. His family were homeless. Having nothing means you have no access, no opportunities, no standing, no influence, no effect, no place, no authority, no rights, and no voice. You're invisible. Jed was desperate. His family were destitute. So one cold January day, he walked into a bank and asked the cashier to give him the money in the till. He wasn't robbing the bank. He didn't have a weapon or threaten anyone. He just asked. But the cashier panicked, handed over the money, then hit the emergency button. The alarms went off. The shutters came down. The police arrived. Jed hadn't tried to run, but he was arrested for robbery. He went to court and pleaded his case, but it fell on deaf ears. It was a ridiculous defence. Asking for something when you have nothing. No credibility. He was convicted and given a jail sentence. Now he had less than nothing. He'd lost his freedom. He'd lost his wife and children. So, if you answered no to my previous question, you might want to think again. Having nothing might be a misfortune, but asking for something is a crime. Trust in me, it was meant to be 
and don't you fear Don't you be afraid I'll keep you safe from harm When they're all lost along the way We'll still be here Riding out the storm Riding out the storm the storm Riding out the storm Riding out the storm Riding out the storm Riding out the storm